वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देर वॉज ए जेन मास्टर नेम हक्विन हु लिव डाउन द आउटस्कर्ट ऑफ ए विलेज इन जापान ही वॉज वेरी फेमस एंड हैड ए ग्रेट रेपुटेशन द होल विलेज रिस्पेक्टेड हिम वेन एवर ही वुड गो टू द विलेज फॉर आर्म्स पीपल वुड ग्रीट एंड वेलकम हिम एंड गिव हिम मैनी थिंग्स बट वन डे एवरी थिंग चेंज्ड ए यंग एन अनमेरी गर्ल इन द विलेज बिकेम प्रेग्नेंट एंड गेव बर्थ टू ए चाइल्ड वेन हर फैमिली आस्ट अबाउट द चाइल्ड्स फादर शी सेट इट वॉज हॉकिंग चाइल्ड द गर्ल्स फादर वॉज एंड रेस्ड ही गैदर पीपल इन टाउन एंड वॉक टू हॉकिंग प्लेस इट डिड नॉट टेक लॉन्ग फॉर पीपल टू चेंज दोज पीपल हु वंस रिस्पेक्टेड हिम नाउ अटैक्ट हॉकिंग्स हट एंड स्टार्टेड एब्यूसिंग हिम They set Hawkins' hut on fire. Hawkins came out and asked, "What's the matter?" People shouted, "This child is yours. Take him with you." Hawkins said, "Is it so? Is this child mine?" Just then, the child started crying. So he started singing a song to calm the child. Hawkins did not argue or say anything. People left the child with him. and left from there after a few months one day hawkin went to the village to beg for arms with the child but every door he stood in front of was slammed shut while he walked by the village roads a crowd of people started teasing him abusing him and throwing stones at him hawkin reached the house of the girl whose child it was he said don't give food for me but at least give some milk for this child i may be at fault but what's the fault of this child the child was crying incessantly and the girl was unable to bear the sound of it she fell at her father's feet and confessed that she had lied about hawking being the father of her child she had done so to protect the real father's identity and had used hawking's name as a cover up the father realized what a great mistake he had made he ran out of the house and fell at hawkins feet and tried to take the baby the hawkins asked what's the matter the girl's father said please forgive me this child is not yours hawkins replied is it so is the child not mine hawkins gave the child to the girl's father and started to leave from there just then people from crowd said are you mad why did not you deny at that time hawkins replied what difference would it have made the child must belong to somebody you had already burnt one heart you would have just burnt one more you had enjoyed defaming one person you would have enjoyed defaming one more people said the child was not yours everybody condemned you insulted you and humiliated you your good reputation was lost everyone thought you were a bad person still you did not say anything why hawkins replied i am neither bad nor good i am simply myself i have dropped this idea of being good and bad i am not concerned with either your respect or your disrespect i do as i feel right and you do whatever you feel to be right the story of saint master hawkins teaches us several valuable lessons the first lesson is about equanimity hawkins remained calm and composed in the face of adversity even when he was being accused of something he did not do he did not let his emotions get the better of him and instead chose to remain centered and grounded equanimity is a state of mind that enables us to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity it is the highest state of happiness that is steady and last longing second lesson is acceptance equanimity leads to acceptance because it allows us to accept things as they are hawkins accepted the child that was left with him even though he knew it was not his 
but still he did not argue or try to defend himself he simply accepted the situation as it was and did what he could to help the child third lesson is non judgment equanimity leads to non judgment because it allows us to see things as they are without getting caught up in our own biases or opinions aquin did not judge the people who had attacked him or accused him of wrongdoing he understood that they were acting out of ignorance and he did not take their actions personally we can also apply these lessons from aquin's story to our own lives by cultivating equanimity in our own minds when we face difficult situations we can learn to remain calm and centered rather than getting caught up in our emotions or judgments we can learn to see things as they are rather than getting caught up in our own biases or opinions by cultivating equanimity we can find greater peace and happiness in our lives we can learn to accept ourselves and others as they are without judgment or criticism we can learn to see the world with greater clarity and understanding rather than getting caught up in our own preconceptions or beliefs and we can learn to live our lives with greater purpose and meaning knowing that we are doing what is right for ourselves and for others